the first thing that I was recommended to watch was the Tenth Kingdom because that person got to me first. So it's a fairy tale mini series from 2000. It's got a bunch of different stories going on. It's essentially about a, a girl and her father who have become part of this fairy tale world through in another dimension. My first thought when I was looking at it was it has the look and feel of a decom. It has a very early 2000s special effects, but they're done in a very interesting way. I thought the makeup was very creative, and I like seeing real sets. And even the early CGI had a very interesting take to it. It didn't feel it was. It's a whole. It's a pretty cheesy, campy show, but I can see people being into that. Me personally, I like a little bit of that as well. But for me, I was I was a bit more into the look of it than I was the actual show. I like some of the details. I really liked the way they handle things. I like the idea of Snow White's prison. That, uh, what was it called? A Snow White Memorial Prison. That was funny. <laughs> and which does play into a part at the ending. Uh, I like how the trolls are pursuing the main character and they constantly say, oh, suck an elf. <laughs> that was funny. And they have a, there's this subplot with the father, played by John Larroquette, who I really like as an actor. Uh, eating a magic bean. I like how the magic bean is bouncing in his hand and then when he uses up all his wishes He spits up the remains of this bean, which I thought was a very interesting way of handling that but overall The story gave me massive anxiety Oh, uh, there was a the the father character John Larroquette. He was He's unsatisfied with his job as a janitor hates his boss. So he gets these six wishes I find that interesting. It's six wishes, not five or three. Usually those are the magic number. I wonder if that comes into anything. <laughs> but he... The wording of his wishes I thought was very weird. Because he says to his boss, Oh, I hope you, ki I hope you kiss my ass and you and your family become my slaves for forever. Strange wording. And then they... That whole scene, and then he wishes for never-ending beer in his fridge, which it just keeps never-ending, which I thought <laughs> gave me massive anxiety to watch. It's like, oh god, oh god, it's never gonna end. <laughs> oh, just keeps going and going and going. How do you get used to that? Of what's gonna happen? It, what's the logical extreme of this? And the, the guy's extended family's crammed into this tiny apartment being the, the guy's slave. Interesting to see how a <laughs> good heightening of a scene. Oh, that was so scary. That was scary for me to watch. It's like, oh god, oh god, when's it gonna end? Ah. Interesting if this show also feels like a feels like a British show. It's it has a similar look to. I'm obsessed with a BBC show called Merlin. It kind of looks like this. The special effects in this are a lot better, but it was that fairy tale look. Is I, there's a genre for this. It's Hocus Pocus is similar to those DCOMs, Once Upon a Time. I'm wondering what channel this aired on. Also, I was noticing a lot of the practical stuff because the animals that they used in this seat were so well trained. I thought, wow, props. The, the how the barking on command and the, how the dog moves. There's a couple, there's a main dog, there's a couple different animals in the whole, in the episode. Which was unbelievably fascinating. Oh, that... Then the... I don't really know. I'm not really sure where all of this is going. I'm... Very... I'm... Curious as to... What... When the person who recommended this says it's one of his favorite shows. And I'm curious what about it drew you in. Because you can learn a lot about people through the media they watch. Especially what do they like, what do they hate. I'm very, very curious what what it was that drew you in. Huh. Oh yeah, the, the part with the wolf, I mean, oh yeah. I wish I could say I liked it a bit more than I did, but I, I'm interested in the style and the visuals. So that, I'm sorry, I wish I could have liked it more. Sadly, it really was not my thing. Yeah, actually, the trolls, I wonder, I do wonder how this is all going to come together. Because it seems like they are setting up a bigger story. You know, they have uh, the father and daughter go through their character development. You see the whole, oh, wishes can go horribly, horribly wrong. It reminds me of this saying that I heard. Uh, that oh, every 
went something along the lines of, oh, you may pray to God, but Satan hears your prayers too because sometimes the worst things for you come disguised as everything you've ever wanted, which I very much got out of this show. Very, very common theme in fairy tales, be careful what you wish for. Which is also pretty common in the Bible too, but still. <laughs> oh yeah, that... Also, with the thing with the wolf, there was... Uh, there's a... The, the big bad wolf, he's a... a classically handsome dude. What? The, I'm sure the actor... The actors are going over the top. I'm sure they're having fun. They look like it, but... Oh god, I was terrified by this guy. I wondered... Because he's tracking down this girl. It's like, okay, he gonna eat this person he wants the dog he's clearly after her too I was so so scared I thought why do people trust this guy because he is clearly showing everyone how creepy he is and yet people tell him where the girl lives I thought why no why are you trusting the obvious bad guy don't do that no oh that scared me <laughs> terrifying oh oh I don't know if it performance was so good. Oh, I was so scared by that. <laughs> I'm sure they were having fun. Just came off a little strong for me. Uh, that's overall thoughts on it. It's, you know, with most things, glad I saw it. And they, thanks for a recommendation. Tomorrow I will do the second recommendation I got, which is for a couple episodes of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Because I've got a busy life I'll do what I can and I'm excited to be opening up my my mind and my computer to new things so I wanted to branch out thank you for the suggestion and uh, I'm doing the next one tomorrow see ya